Hello, and welcome to the Sony stage at NAB 2025. Today, we're going to take a deeper look into one of the fastest growing and constantly changing areas of the media and entertainment industry, remote and live production. We'll look at this dynamic landscape through the view of one versatile device meeting many market needs, Sony's PDT FP1 portable data transmitter. We'll cover what makes this compact but powerful product an invaluable live resource in so many different applications and environments, from multi-camera, low latency, live broadcast, to simple broadcast and live streaming for single streaming applications, to photojournalism, sports and event photography that deliver images instantly for publication. You'll learn how this device integrates with other broadcast equipment, like cameras and encoders, to enable ultra low latency video transmission over 5G networks, which are increasingly being adopted by the broadcast industry with exceptional signal stability and transmission reliability. We'll also cover how the device's hardware and connectivity features can be customized to work with third-party applications and services through the Android operating system. The PDT FP1 is uniquely designed to transmit video, still images, and live streaming content directly from compatible Sony cameras wirelessly, especially over large production areas like golf courses, racetracks, campuses, and entertainment venues. The workflow with Sony cameras is easy and seamless with multiple connectivity options. Let's dive into some of the key features and applications of the PDT FP1. The PDT FP1 can operate over 5G networks using sub six and millimeter wave frequencies on public and private 5G networks for uninterrupted workflows, providing fast and reliable upload speeds. It has an impressive multi antenna, providing unparalleled connectivity, dual SIM support, and it comes unlocked so you can use it with any carrier. Dual SIM support means users can have two different carriers and auto SIM switching gives users on-site peace of mind, allowing them to set up minimum thresholds for data transfer. For example, if a connection speed dips below the user defined top load threshold, the PDT FP1 can automatically transfer over to the second SIM and toggled between each carrier based on the fastest network at that location. A high resolution 6.1 inch OLED display can also function as external monitor or as an additional viewfinder. A full size HDMI input with cable lock loop means the PDT FP1 can also be used as an on camera monitoring device simultaneously when you're using it to transmit data or do live streaming. You can use the PDT FP1 as a monitor from any camera with HDMI or USB video outputs. A built in RJ45 connector lets you hardwire the device to your camera for secure and high speed data transfer or network connectivity. The PDT's internal battery gives users a long runtime without being weighed down by bulky external batteries or chargers. There are dual USB-C ports, one for data and one for power delivery, providing extended use without concerns about your battery running low. Other mobile devices commonly used for live applications usually only have one USB port that can be used for power or data and video, but not for both. And speaking of extended use, often mobile devices will overheat after extensive streaming or data transfer, especially over 5G networks. They shut down and you have to wait for them to cool before you can use them again. However, the PDT FP1 has an integrated heatsink and cooling fan, enabling extended use without overheating. Now that we've covered the main features of the PDT FP1, let's talk about how and where it's being used. One of its main selling points is giving production teams more creative flexibility to go into expansive areas where traditional cabling is impractical or cost prohibitive and help them achieve high quality, stable 
wireless video transmission and camera switching. The PDT FP1 has been used for live broadcast productions at events like Carnival in Brazil, which went wireless for the first time this year, to Super Bowl 57. On that global stage, both the Associated Press and NFL in-house photography teams use the PDT on site to deliver photos and videos directly from their cameras to editors in real time, streamlining their workflow and resulting in the fastest possible distribution to the public. When used as a standalone device, the PDT FP1 is a powerful solution on its own. When it's combined with Sony's CBK RPU7 remote production unit and the NXL ME80 Media Edge processor, the three devices form Sony's orchestrated 5G live remote production solution. The PDT is a cost-effective and easy-to-use device for remote live productions. All it needs is a 5G network, which is a technology that's constantly advancing. Let's hear some more from Sony's Martin Lindsay. So it sounds like we've already covered the basics of the Sony PDT FP1 portable data transmitter. Impressive stuff. Now let's take a deeper dive into why this device is a game changer for real time live broadcasting. The PDT FP1's ability to transmit ultra low latency video is crucial for seamless 4K streaming. This is made possible by Sony's CBK RPU7, which encodes the video while the PDT FP1 transmits it at lightning speed. Combined with an optimized antenna design and built in cooling, the PDT operates reliably over cutting edge 5G sub 6 and millimeter wave networks without overheating. Even though public 5G networks can quickly become oversaturated with tens of thousands of attendees, Portable private 5G systems can be temporarily deployed, providing guaranteed high bandwidth, low latency connectivity. Additionally, network slicing on public 5G networks can allow mobile network operators to create dedicated bandwidth slices for video streaming, ensuring consistent, high quality signals. To see this in action, let me share an example from a recent major golf tournament. Multiple cameras were outfitted with RPU7s and PDTs operating over a private 5G network. In addition to 12-hour days of flawless video streaming, the production team could remotely control the cameras thanks to the PDT's Ethernet connectivity and port forwarding functions. Operators adjusted settings like iris and color balance ensuring consistent quality despite changing lighting conditions. And with the RPU7's latest firmware updates, tally signals and return video can be transmitted to the cameras, mimicking the functionality of hardwired setups. And speaking of hardwired, did you know that a typical golf tournament production requires tens of thousands of feet of fiber optic cabling for camera connectivity? This deployment demands significant planning, resources, and costs to install, and later remove. A 5G production can help reduce these requirements and even open up new possibilities for high quality, flexible and creative live broadcasts. In short, the Sony PDT FP1 and RPU7 are those overachievers in the room. Reliable, talented and great at everything, especially when it comes to ultra low latency 4K live streaming. If you want seamless broadcasts, remote control and a more efficient production team, these are the tools for you. Thanks for listening, and may your signals be strong, your resolution be 4K, and your latency be ultra low. The PDT FP1 can also be used to stream without the CBK RPU7 encoder for an even more cost effective and mobile solution. This would typically be used for single camera broadcasts like news or small multi-camera productions that typically don't require low latency switching and can vary from corporate events and weddings to social media live streaming channels. With the full-size HDMI and dual USB-C, the PDT FP1 can be paired with any camera that has HDMI or even USB video out. Using the installed Sony external monitor app, 
users can monitor their video and live stream direct from the app via RTMP or to online switchers or even direct to social media platforms. News broadcasters prefer streaming SRT protocol, which is readily available through third-party apps thanks to the Android operating system. Most news broadcasters would receive the SRT through on-prem decoders or through web-based cloud switchers. Many Sony cameras, like the NX800 and FX series with the latest firmware updates, have the ability to encode and live stream SRT, RTMP, or RTMPS direct from the camera as long as they have access to the internet. In these situations, the PDT FP1 can act as both high resolution monitor and high speed access point or Wi Fi hotspot utilizing the 5G network. But the PDT FP1 is not just for live streaming or uploading video content, it's also used extensively in the world of photojournalism and sports photography. When it comes to newsworthy images, speed is everything. The first to market scoops the story. Photojournalists and sports photographers need to transmit images in real time to photo editors who are often situated remotely. While the PDT FP1 comes with Sony's transfer and tagging app for uploading images to FTP sites with IPTC data, the Android operating system does not limit media organizations from using their own methods. Let's hear from Jerry Lai from Imagine Images on how the PDT FP1 has been used to simplify and speed up their workflow while improving their journalist's freedom to move around an event or venue. Backtracking even just a decade ago, I like to refer that to as kind of the Stone Age, where we were literally pulling the memory cards out of photographers' cameras and then delivering it to an editor in the workroom at which point we would then ingest all the files, select, edit, and transmit those photos. Fast forward a few years, and those cameras now have Ethernet ports. And so that sped things up quite a bit, but there are still limitations to that. Namely, we were tethered to a single location. So where the portable data transmitter has come into play was it really allowed us to go across the entire field, across all venues. I am Jerry Lai. I am the Director of Content at Imagine Images. I am in charge of our photographers as well as our photo editors. So with photographers, I assign them to select events as well as give them guidelines on what they should be looking for at their various shoots. And then for photo editors, I assign them to individual photographers so that they can handle their images and get them out for the world to see. The challenge that the portable data transmitter has solved for us is giving photographers freedom. This is particularly useful in events where photographers are not tied to specific locations and want to move around across the entire field of play. Examples such as football, NASCAR, golf, or Formula One. We used the portable data transmitter at this past Super Bowl in New Orleans. Our elevated photographer had no access to hard ethernet ports in the higher levels of the stadium. So for us to get images of the opening kickoff or different angles of the halftime show or the Gatorade dunk, we had to have a portable data transmitter. Otherwise, there was no way to get those images back to us in real time. With baseball season coming up, the photo wells are very crowded and the portable data transmitter allows photographers to not have to worry about carrying bulky computers into the photo well. Every photographer whom we've issued a portable data transmitter has been blown away by its performance, both its speed and its reliability. The portable data transmitter also saves me, as a photo editor, a lot of time. Gone are the days where I'm waiting for the photographer at the end of a game to plug into a hard ethernet line and send their tagged images, or worse yet, pull their card and hand me the disk of final images. Now when the clock strikes zero, I know that all the images have been transmitted and we're done. There's also an update planned for the PDT FP1 soon to enable simultaneous use of Wi-Fi access point and Wi-Fi tethering. This is particularly important when connecting a camera to a splash page for a direct FTP upload from the camera. Another unique benefit of the PDT FP1 is its use of the Android operating system. This, paired with Sony's powerful hardware, design, 
interface, and inputs allows companies to implement their own solutions, taking advantage of all the benefits of this versatile device. A prime example of this is GPX Stream, a company built on professional driver instruction for motor racing. GPX has harnessed the high-speed 5G capabilities and tied the PDT FP1 into an interface connected to the race car's OBD, or onboard diagnostic, computer. With their proprietary interface, GPX can live stream all the vehicle data, including speed, revs, engine information, steering angle, and more. They can also lay over GPS position on a racetrack and get multiple camera inputs, all being fed through the PDT FP1 back to the driver instructor or team back in the pit. The super low latency allows for instant feedback from instructor to driver in real time, even while driving at high speed. Let's hear more from Jeff Siegel, CEO of GPX Stream. As a professional racing driver and instructor, I know how important it is to have instantaneous feedback while you're out on the track. Okay, so eyes up, pass the kink. Look for the brake set size on the left, on the brake set with the rear marker. And it'll be hard on the brakes initially. Using a live camera system, we've been able to implement that with a lot of our clients. But in the past, we had challenges with equipment that worked some of the time or equipment that was too complex, too difficult to install, and just not really feasible in the field until we found the PDT. So we're at the Concourse Lab using the PDT FP1 with dual SIM card and the 5G mobile network connected to a GPX stream to send two video feeds and vehicle telemetry back to a driving coach so that they can direct the driver and improve their performance in real time. Careful to get the rest straight before you get on full power. The Sony PDT FP1 is a portable data transmitter. It is a 5G IoT device utilizing the mobile network and Wi Fi to transmit images, videos, or to live stream directly from camera to cloud. Patience with the gas pedal, unwind the steering all the way out to the exit curve. Very nice. Hold the left side, look for the brake marker just before the beginning of the curving. Okay, that's a great lap, huge improvement over where we were before. So we'll get this lap, bring the car back to the garage. The PDT's dual SIM cards are allowing us to have our clients roam all over the world and make sure that we curate the best 5G network so that they can have the highest level of service no matter where they are. The integrated cooling in the PDT has allowed us to continue streaming at high quality without disturbance in some of the most hostile conditions that you'll find anywhere. The Android operating system has allowed us to develop a specific application unique to motorsport, which allows our users the easiest possible user interface so that they can stream without challenges. We really have taken this coaching game to the next level. There are so many more applications that PDT FP1 has that we don't have time to talk about all of them here today. For instance, there are updates to the external monitor app to record video directly to the PDT FP1 for immediate editing or proxy sharing. And speaking of sharing, there are updates for transferring photos and video files to Sony's C Media Cloud. Make sure you visit the PDT FP1 counter, C Media Cloud, and broadcast areas here in the Sony booth to find out more. Thank you and have a great NAB. May your signals be strong, your resolution be 4K, and your latency be ultra low. Thank you very much, everybody.